welcome all today in this session i am going to tell you that how you can create a java project using maven and from the command prompt so for that purpose first of all you have to make sure that maven is installed in your machine so what do you mean by maven is installed in your machine so uh, whenever you want to create the maven project uh, using the you can say your id like eclipse intellij netbeans any tool you simply open the tool and simply you go to the here file new and you simply go to the option other and maybe you are getting in the main option and then here you get the option maven project here and you uh, just select the option and simply next next you create the project here today in this session uh, and that is also asked frequently in the interview also that how you can create a maven project using the command prompt so if you you want to create a maven project using the command prompt first of all you have to make sure that ja maven should be installed separately in your machine so how you can check it simply do one thing first of all you have to download the maven so you can do one thing uh, you can say open uh, your eclipse uh, open your uh, browser and here you have to say maven download so because you have to download the maven separately so maven download for windows here so after that you can go to the official website of maven this one download apache maven and when you go to here and you will see here uh, it will provides you the uh, you can say uh, versions to download here so here you can see the uh, you can say versions are 3.8 release are there if you want to you can download it but you can you make sure that for uh, maven 3.8 plus requires jdk 1.7 plus so in my system i have already installed uh, jdk 1.8 so i can install this one so here you can uh, do one thing here you can have the option to download the binary as well as source i'm interested in the binary so i will simply download this zip here okay so i will simply click on uh, this and it will download the zip file for me and you can see let me go to the download folder so let me go to the download folder where is my download folder this one so i will go to the download folder and here you can say uh, my maven is already downloaded here so now now let me extract it here so when i extract it here you can see here so now let me simply say extract so when i click on extract it is extracting the maven folder which is maven folder is actually you can say the maven installation because for maven installation you need to uh, make sure that uh, maven folder is available on your uh, you can say machine here so i downloaded this one and now this is the maven folder now you can do one thing this is the maven folder like maven 3.8 and already i have uh, you can say i have put the maven in my machine so if you are going uh, going with this latest version like may apache maven 3.8 so whatever maven you have downloaded now what you have to do just uh, copy this uh, you can say folder in a uh, in a uh, you can say instead of download i will say that you should prefer it in a proper folder so i have created a folder like software in the software we have a folder this one apache maven 3.6.3 so this is the location of my maven project whatever folder you have downloaded just copy this folder so this is the maven part which is downloaded now we have to set the path of this maven in my environment variables like we set for the java so we, for java we set the path like java underscore home in the same way uh, for you can say for maven you know, after installing after downloading this folder you have to simply go to the you can say your system let me write simply say that edit environment variables so when you go to this one and uh, edit the system environment variables it will open this window for you and simply you have to go to the you can say environment variable section and in environment variable section there is a system variables and you have to see already uh, any environment variable with the name of maven home is there if it is there then there is no issue but if it is not there what you have to do you simply have to create a environment variable that is maven m a v n underscore home and here you have to give the path of your folder like in my case uh, i put the apache maven 3.6 dot folder here so you are just giving the path so simply click on okay so this is the first thing second thing is that you have to go to the path variable that is already there so edit the path and in the path variable you have to uh, uh, make a, a new entry uh, for the you can say apache and you have to add the bin like you can say it is already in my case because i already installed in my previous uh, you can say projects here so e software apache bin was there uh, apache 3.6.3 was there and you have to add this bin one so this is the location uh, where you can say your maven commands files are available here so you have to give this one in the path you have to give 
Apache Maven and slash bin you have to do. Now this is the configuration part. You have to make sure this is, you can say completed your machine. If it is completed, now you are ready to create the Maven project using your command prompt. Okay, so now the thing is that how you can create the command uh, project from the command prompt. First of all, go to the location where you want to create the project. So in my case, usually whenever I, whenever I create any Maven project from the Eclipse also, so I created a workspace for that. And that is available in my C users, THKU. And you can see this is the Eclipse workspace. So whenever I try to create any project, like you can see, you are able to see so many projects are there. So I always prefer this place to create the project using my ID. Now I will create the project in the same workspace, but using the command form. So for that purpose, simply select this one. And now uh, you can say simply enter CMD. When you click on CMD, it will open this command form for you. And after that, you have to write a command to create a, uh, you can say Maven project. And for that, what you have, what you have to do, you have to simply use uh, the command. And this is the command. In the command, first of all, you have to write Maven R type generate. And there are a few attributes like you have to write hyphen D group ID com.org. Com.org is the name of the, you can say default package. You can choose any package. Second attribute uh, hyphen D artifact ID. That is the name of the project. So I'm just taking the name of the project. Uh, let's make automation easy demo Java project. I'm just uh, taking this name here. Other than that, you have to give the uh, type of skeleton means uh, in which uh, use artifact ID, in which manner you want to create the project, Maven project. So I'm just, uh, just selecting the uh, archetype artifact ID that is Maven archetype quick start. So Maven archetype quick start is the quickest way to create the Maven project. And now the last distribute is very important. That is uh, interactive mode equal to false. It means I want to create a Java project from the command prompt and I don't want to interact means I simply give the command and now I'm not going to do anything and it will create the project for me. Okay, so I will show you in my upcoming videos that how you can create the Maven project in the interactive mode also where you can choose multiple options while creating the project from the command prompt. Okay, but here we are going to create the simple project from the command prompt and uh, using the, you can say, uh, non-interactive. Okay, so that's why I put interactive mode equal to false. And make sure whenever you are using this command, your command should be in a single line. Okay, uh, maybe what happens that whenever you copy this command hole, so sometimes you are just using the new line character like this is the one line and this is, uh, you can say I've live in the new line, but you have to make sure that whole command should be in one line because whenever we are going to run this command from the command from everything should be in one line. So that's why I've just copied this command in my, you can say this uh, notepad file and this is in the single line. So I simply just copy the command and I already told you the purpose of different attributes like group ID is the, you can say default folder, default package, which is, uh, it will create for you. And this uh, artifact ID is the name of the project uh, with whatever project name you want to give. And this is the archetype ID and the purpose of this one that what is the Maven skeleton you want to use, Maven structure you want to use that. I'm using Maven archetype quick start. And this is the important interactive mode into false. When I will, uh, in my upcoming videos, whenever I will try to create a project using the interactive mode, in that case, this value will be two here. So let me just copy this, uh, you can say command here, and I will just paste this command in the description of this video also, so that you can copy it easily from there, okay? Now let me simply go to my, you can say command from and simply run it. So now let me make it a little bit big so that you can find it easily. And after that, I will simply put the enter here. So when I put the enter, you can see here without any interfere, it will create a Maven project for me with the proper, uh, you can say structure here. So it has create, uh, start creating the project, scanning for the project. And here it is, uh, you just see that building Maven is the project here. And it is generating the project structure for me in the, you can say, batch mode. So using following parameters, like whatever parameters I've given it, you can say base directory, I've given this one because I was on this folder. This is the, you can say, package or group ID. This was the name of the, uh, you can say, uh, my project. And simply it has created the project. You can see the, you can say message. And you can see that this is the location here. So same location where what I have given in my command prompt. So now we can verify also. Let me go to this location and you can check it. Let me refresh it. And you can see that. It has created a project uh, with the name of let's make automation demo project and you can check the date here it has created today now uh, how we can make sure that project is created properly you can simply open the you can say our eclipse and in the eclipse i have not created it but uh, we can open it and see that this project is created properly or not so i simply go to the file open project for file system and simply click on the directory and in the directory i can go to the location so this is my you can say 
uh, where is my project? This is uh, let's make automation a demo Java project. So let me select the folder and open it. When I open it, simply click on finish. And let me show you that it is the same structure. Uh, it is uh, going to show us whatever uh, structure uh, we can see when we are going to create the project using the uh, any tool like ID, uh, Eclipse, or NetBeans, or IntelliJ. So this is the project. And let me expand it. When I'm expanding it, when I'm trying to expand it, you can see here. Uh, it is already create, uh, showing me the everything which I have just tried to create the project using the uh, UI mode. Okay, UI mode when I work it, it's same it is showing here. You can check it here. Name of the project is Let's Make Automation Demo Java Project. And this is my, uh, you can say main Java and you can see this is the default package here. It is available in both the, you can say structure, SRC, test Java and this one. And by default, it provides a jar that is called JUnit that is also available here. We have the folder bin and SRC there and pom.xml file is also there. So it means using the command prompt, it has created a, a proper project for me with the basic structure. So everything information is, you can see perfect here. Okay, so you can see here with the help of this thing, you can create the uh, Maven project using command prompt. And this question is frequently asked in the interview, like how you can create the Maven project from the command prompt. So now uh, you can say that uh, I will, as I told you, I will copy this command in the your descri description box of this video. So if you want to create the project, you can copy the command from there. And now the thing is that if you like the video or you have any query, you can click on the like button and put your comment in the comment section. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my upcoming videos. Thank you.